What's going on guys? Welcome to the very first episode of Spread the Bread and uh, it's coming on a very big weekend here. Uh, we got Super Bowl Sunday coming up. As you can see, uh, went through my notebook here, wrote down, went through all the props, um, the different parlays available, man. I mean, I think we're ready to rock and roll. Let's make some money this weekend. So I mean, these, these aren't my official picks yet. Some of them are. Um, but I went through the different props that were available. A few caught my eye, and I thought I'd share a few with you guys. Uh, so you take them how you want. Uh, you're able to parlay. I'll go through the same game parlays uh, props that are available here. You'll be able to build them how you want, but these are just my picks and my opinions. So, I mean, let's rock and roll. Let's get to it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. So right now, uh, as from FanDuel, you get the Rams at minus four and a half. That's a, or I'm sorry, at minus four. That's a spread. Uh, money lines looking like uh, minus one ninety eight Rams plus one sixty six Bengals. Uh, then the total set at forty eight and a half. I don't know if it'll be back and forth or what, but I mean, I don't know. You tell me if you think the points will get that high, but I'm staying away from that right there firsthand. Uh, let me see, look through here. So, I mean, one that caught my eye, if you go to quarterback props, uh, total number of players to throw a pass attempt, uh, that, I believe that is set at two and a half. That's at plus money. That's plus 155. Uh, I feel like at some point in the game, we've seen it earlier in the season with uh, Cleveland uh, when Odell was playing for them. Uh, he likes throwing the ball every now and then on these uh, trick plays. So look out for him to throw a pass uh, next to Stafford and Burrow here. Uh, McVay might be, may or may not be in his bag. I mean, you think they stacked all the chips in, right? Uh, this has got to be it. You got to bring out your best plays, man. So, I mean, uh, over two and a half uh, passing player passing attempts here. Um, so Stafford passing touchdowns by quarter. I mean, I feel like easy money here is in the first and third quarter, right? The Rams love start getting a hot start, as we've seen uh, throughout the season, especially this playoff. Um, so, I mean, if you think he's going to throw a passing touchdown in the first quarter, you get that at plus 130. You can hop right on that. Um, I feel like after halftime, it's, it's going to be a dogfight, uh, potentially. So, uh, look for the Rams to either keep pushing their lead or come back from uh, – like a touchdown or two, I guess. I don't know. So you can look in the third quarter for him to pass the touchdown. Uh, plus 135. I kind of like those odds there. Uh, then if you want to go on the other side and take Burrow, uh, these guys normally, they love fighting from behind for some reason. It's worked all playoffs so far. So if you're going to take a flyer there, I'd go Joe Burrow throw a touchdown in the third quarter plus 145. Uh, moving on to receiving props. Uh, let's look at the longest reception of the game. Obviously, Cooper Cup's the favorite at plus 260. Uh, next to him is Jamar Chase plus 360. Excuse me. A flyer I would like to throw out here is uh, Van Jefferson. He's been kind of quiet in the playoffs, but during the regular season, uh, Stafford, you, he, he'd be his, uh, I guess, yeah, earlier in the season, the second option uh, without Robert Woods there downfield. So you can get him at longest reception of the game, uh, plus, uh, what is it, 1,100, man. So, I mean, sprinkle a little bit there if you're with it. Uh, let's move on here. Uh, defensive props. So player to record first interception. I can see Matthew Stafford trying to sling this thing early, man. So, I mean, we see it earlier in the season. The Detroit Lions, Matt Stafford pops up every now and then. So, if you're looking the Bengals' way to get a first pick, I'd look uh, for value-wise, obviously, with these type of props. Um, either look at a, a Wouzier at plus 1,200, or um, let's throw uh, Von Bell at 2,700. Maybe even Eli Apple, man, at 1100 <laughs> has A lot of you guys on Twitter have been seeing there's been a lot of back and forth, and uh, he's he's lit some fire under some people's asses, man. He's been getting fried on Twitter. So, I mean, look for him to try to have a big game today or tomorrow, I guess, uh, or whenever this video drops. 
Um, special teams props. So, I mean, I don't know if I'm really going to take this one, but uh, is there going to be a touchback during kickoff? A lot of people lean in no uh, due to past Super Bowls, but as we've seen uh, just as of recently, there isn't really too much uh, kick returns in the NFL, especially during the kickoffs. So, I mean, if you choose yes, that's minus 130. No is plus 102. I, I'm probably going to stay away from that one. Uh, that's been one of the most popular props. All right, now to everybody's favorite, same game parlays, man. So, obviously, for any time touchdown, well, I could assume we all like Cooper Cup, right? Minus 165. Um, so, I'm obviously going to throw him in one of my parlays for sure, uh, as I have already. Um, so I like him to score a touchdown. Uh, you can throw in Cam Akers. Uh, by the time I wrote these notes down, he was at minus 110. Throw Joe Mixon in there, plus 100, get some even money there. Jamar Chase, he hasn't really seen the end zone in this uh, playoff. So, I mean, you really it, it, he's tough to stay away from just being as big of a weapon as he has been during the regular season. Offensive rookie of the year, obviously. Uh, you get him plus one time. Uh, OBJ, I feel like he's going to have a big game. Uh, plus 140 for him to score a touchdown. And so I'm going to throw two random ones out there that just might happen. Uh, Rams defense to score a touchdown. At this time, I was looking at it, plus 600. Throw that in the parlay, man. I mean, what do you got to lose? I mean, a couple dollars on that. Uh, Joe Burrow, I mean, the defense, the Rams defense is going to come to play. I I could only imagine. Um, we got Aaron Donald that's hungry for a ring. Von Miller looking for a second one. Super Bowl MVP in the past. Ramsey's looking for one. A whole bunch of other guys, man. So, I mean, throw them in a parlay. Rams defense score a touchdown. And as we've seen, I believe the stat was uh, every every three playoff games this year, Stafford has rushed in for a one-yard uh, QB sneak touchdown. He's at plus 700. Throw him in there, man. I can see it happening. Um, and if you're going to pick any player to score two touchdowns, I, I mean, easy money would be Cooper Cup, right? He's the number one target. He's, I mean, what, what's much more to say about him, man? I mean, he's shown it this year as the offensive uh, player of the year. Uh, Calvin Johnson, like numbers, I mean, we know. Um so look at rushing yards. I'm going to stay away from Joe Mixon. Uh, he was set at 60 and a half when I was writing my notes down. <laughs> this is going to be tough for that Rams defense, man. I don't know. I'm I'm staying away from him as far as rushing yards. Uh, they're expecting Cam Akers to have a big impact on this game. They had him at 64 and a half again. I'm going to stay away just because uh, I don't know. He... That's a scary one for me. I don't know how you guys feel, but I'm going to stay away from that. If anything, I'll probably do like an all, like 40 or 50 yards, but I'm going to stay away from the 65 for sure. Um, So here's the three that I'm taking. I guarantee you right now, uh, Burroughs rush yards is at 10 and a half. Hammer that thing over, man. The past few playoff games, even uh, towards the end of the regular season, We've seen him take off for a few, definitely over 10 yards. So hammer that one down. And I guess we, we know his offensive line ain't too strong. So, uh, I mean, I feel like the Rams D-line is going to go be going at his head. So he's going to be running for his life, I think. Hammer that uh, over 10 and a half rush yards for Burrow. Uh, same thing for Stafford. He said at five and a half, man. The past three playoff games, again, he scored a rushing touchdown and went over on all his rush yards. So I feel like five and a half is way too low, man. So take st hammer that Stafford over rush yards. That's easy money, bro. Even put that in a parlay. Uh, I have a tough time saying his name. Uh, Pirine, backup running back for the Bengals. You might, he's probably going to get some touches. He's only at two and a half. Two and a half rush yards. He could do that in one play, man. I mean, throw that in there. Throw that in the same game part. Hey, why not? Why not? Uh, so that's the rush yards. Um, I'm, for my sake, 
since we've seen Joe Burrow just touch 250 in uh, AFC Championship, throw in all, uh, Joe Burrow 250 yards again. Or even if you're afraid of 250, bump it down to 220. I mean, that's easy money right there. He's, that's that's average, you know. Uh, Stafford, I'm alting him at 250. 250, 275. I forget what his over-under is, but uh, I – just feel like it's a safe pick with the all passing yards for any of these quarterbacks or either or quarterbacks. Um, second half touchdown, I have written, written right here. Cup at plus 165 and OBJ plus uh, 330. Again, they either might be laying a hammer down on the Bengals or fighting fighting for uh, fighting for a lead, I guess. I don't know. The, the, you can see them being down like 3-7. There's so many different scenarios I can see happening in this game. So I mean, if you want to, if you want to take a flyer on that, sprinkle a little bit, throw it in a parlay. Um, but yeah, that's all I got here. Um, so all these odds were from FanDuel. I don't know what they're looking like at the other sports books. So I mean, with that being said, you can head over to BetStamp. So BetStamp is the ultimate app for sports bettors. You can track your bets and compare odds, buy or sell, or view free picks and follow friends. If this is something you guys would be interested in, please feel free to message me. I have an exclusive referral code you can sign up with. I'm looking to have like guests and shit, whatever, on this show from here on out. Uh, so if you're ever interested, just to shoot the shit, uh, hand out some winners, man. Just hit me up. I'm more than more than interested in having you on the show. So, I mean, it's a big day. Let's get this money, man. Good luck to everybody. Guys, don't forget to head over to my Instagram page at tank.latiri. Click on my story. Uh, take the poll. Who's going to win the Super Bowl? Rams, Bengals. Uh, if you pick the winner of the Super Bowl, you, you will be drawn into a contest to win a Spread the Bread t-shirt. Let me repeat that again. You pick the winner of the Super Bowl, uh, Rams, Bengals. You'll be entered in a contest to win a Spread the Bread t-shirt. And if you want an extra drawing in the contest, feel free to message me who do you think the MVP of the Super Bowl is going to be. Best of luck to all of you. Thank you much for the support.